update on the token swapping process, namely the swapping contract. The good news is the entire team has and is still heads down and finishing up the last brush strokes for the token swap. I know we are a couple of days behind, but uh, I'd rather have it working properly uh, than you know, uh, deploying something that doesn't work. And that said, the swapping contract has been deployed on the on the Ethereum mainnet and it's ready to go. And this video is gonna show you how that swapping contract works, what what's needed for that, and how the mapping of your ERC20 DAG to the mainnet uh, wallet DAG works within our uh, swapping token swap. Cool. So let's let's dive right into it. Uh, it's actually not that complicated. It's pretty straightforward. And I have logged in into my um, wallet uh, through my Ether wallet. Uh, you see here's uh, the Ethereum slash ERC20 uh, address. I have a little bit of a balance in here uh, for transaction fees uh, of Ethereum. And on the left hand side, you see uh, the the, the bullet point contract. And in order to start interacting with the swapping contract, which has been deployed, you click on contract, interact with the contract. And now that leads you to this interface. And there's two options for entry. The first is enter contract address. And the contract address I'm taking uh, directly from the deployed contract. Um, I copy that in here and then it needs something that's called an ABI. And the ABI is basically a string of functions that allows uh, to, to steer or to operate that deployed smart contract. And both the contract address and the ABI will be published in an article on our website, uh, in our walkthrough material. Um, you will have all that available. So it's just copy and paste. You don't need to program anything. Um, you just copy and paste it from our material. So this is the contract address. This is the ABI. And you see already here the button automatically turned into green. And I click it. And uh, what happens is you see the contract address again. Uh, and and read and write contract. And what you do here is you select the function within the contract that you want to execute. And in our case, that is map address. And I'm going to explain a little bit uh, about the other functions as well. But we start with map address, which is the main function that you will need in order to to signal to us what your new mainnet DAG wallet address is. OK, let's look at the interface. Again, contract address, DAG address, map the address to the DAG address. And here you will enter your newly generated mainnet wallet address from, from, from your DAG wallet, from the new DAG wallet. And I, I, I'm going to make up something for, for this example because we have not published the wallet yet. The wallet ex is expected for next week. Um, so I'll just type in new DAG wallet 01. I leave the value in ETH uh, open. And all I do uh, right now is I click write. And it works a little. I confirm and send. And there we go. I'm not going to check it on Etherscan. I know it's happened. Um, so that's it. OK, I click OK. And now I have mapped my my wallet address where I store my DAG uh, to my new DAG wallet uh, of the mainnet. And of course, the new DAG wallet address in once we have published the wallet will be a string uh, address like similar to this one here. But this is to illustrate how that swapping function works. and to give you confidence to execute it. So now we have mapped it already. The only thing you need to make sure you can execute that mapping function at any point in time um, until the 27th of January. Just make sure that on the day of the token swap, you have the DAG in 
in in your wallet address uh the balance needs to be in this wallet in your originating wallet in order to be mapped properly now how how do we know that that mapping has been successful we just wrote something to a smart contract and that leads us into uh the the functions here on the side again i can actually check if the mapping has been successful and i and i scroll down here and click mapped addresses i type in my my wallet address that's the originating address and i just click read and what i get is a result and the result tells me uh my my wallet address has been um mapped to the new DAG wallet zero one that's it that's that's the the lookup function in case you have made an error or a mistake you can actually revoke the mapping as well and that is simply done by remove mapped addresses and i click that here now too so let's say i have made a mistake I take my wallet address again, I enter it here again, I click right, confirm and send, okay. So that's it. So now I have removed my previously mapped address because I've discovered maybe there was a mistake and now I can go through the process again and remap it or map a new address. Um, I wanted to tag wallet. Uh, zero two, for example, I write it, confirm and send. Okay, done. Guys, that's it. That's the swapping contract. It's not a rocket science. We will provide more in-depth uh, guidelines and information. I will write up a short piece with all the links, with the ABI, uh with a link to the download and the installer for the wallet they're wrapping up uh the containerization uh for the wallet right now so it's in its last brush strokes um so be confident it's it's not as big of a deal as some of you may think uh i'll be available available for questions um yeah, that, that's from my side, from, <clears throat> from the token swap side. Um, in addition to that, we will be publishing the State of the Union tomorrow with an in-depth review of the, you know, 2019 of what has happened in this year, what's what's been going really well, and also what you can and we can look forward to in 2020. It's going to be a year of growth and it's going to be really exciting uh with a lot of good stuff in the pipeline and uh also that said we will be progressing with the node operator selection you will be receiving emails the, we will be you know screening together with our leaders in the community for people who actively contribute and participate in the community so uh stay tuned uh, not all batches have been selected yet so there's ample room for you to to participate to contribute and uh to hopefully get selected for uh the further batches so that's from my end i hope you guys are having a smooth and a little more relaxed time going into the holiday season and you know spend some time with your loved ones and enjoy the enjoy the time of the year and uh yeah you'll be hearing in-depth updates from my end and uh so far all the best bye bye